Okay, welcome back to NC State Dendrology. So I'm here in front of this trunk is behind me. This is Quercus hemispherica, uh, which is diamond leaf oak, Darlington oak, or sand laurel oak. This is sometimes grouped into the same um, species with um, Quercus laurifolia, which we'll learn later this semester. But um, it has a really distinct habitat difference. So you're not gonna really find these co-occurring unless you're planted planting them and this tree in fact is planted at the Gardner Arboretum. So this is a southeastern coastal plain endemic um, found in dry sandy soils hence the sand laurel oak property but it looks a lot like some of the other laurel oaks that we will learn this semester. So it's got these um, grab it Okay, so it has these narrow leaves. Um, remember we've learned Quercus fellows. We'll also learn live oak um, and we'll also learn laurel oak. So it has unlobed, pr primarily unlobed leaves that are long and narrow, not quite as narrow as Quercus fellows. And I pulled off a bunch of leaves to show you the variation among them that can help you get the ID. So they are co totally glabrous underneath, so there's no hairs and the leaf shape can vary. So some people might call it, right, slightly obovate or oblanceolate. Um, sometimes they have little teeth, right, or slight lobing at the ends of the leaves, right? So here's one that has those lobing. They are bristle tipped. This is in the red oak group. So I don't know if you can see that little tiny bristle tip against my red shirt. Um, but they're entirely glabrous beneath. So these are all leaves from the same tree. And some of them might suggest the diamond shape um, being widest at the middle. Um, and those are more like the shade leaves. So if this is one that maybe I could convince you is wider towards the middle. And so maybe has a slightly more diamond shape than maybe elliptical. Um, so glabrous on the underside, they are leathery. This is a semi evergreen tree, so it will hold its leaves um, pretty far into the year. Leaves are almost, almost crunchy, not quite. Um, so this, like I said, this is a southeastern coastal plain endemic. Hemispherica, it means hemispherical, and that refers to the nuts. So these are the nuts, they're really tiny. And um, let me try and get this in focus. So if you look at the nut carefully, I think you can see the general shape is hemispherical, right? So it's sort of a half circle or half, half sphere. Um, and these nuts are very small. They're the smallest of our oaks. We have them grouped together and would not ask you to distinguish Quercus hemispherica from Quercus fellows or um, Quercus nigra. They all have very small, very rounded, right? So half, half, half a spherical, um, acorn shape and you can see it's like a half inch or less um, so very very small so this is in the red oak group um, it has the normal wildlife value and wood use for other um, red oaks although it's not you know considered a, a major lumber tree and the bark that's behind me it's a little bit hard to see because it's backlit but it's a kind of a typical red oak bark um, it would be hard to tell it apart from fellows you really have to look at the leaf shape um, to look for the variation in leaf shape to see some leaves that are a little more on the diamond shaped side, a little bit broader towards the middle than the tip. Um, they're also a little bit shorter than Quercus fellows. And also the habitat is a really important factor that will help you tell it apart from laurel oak for sure um, in the southeastern coastal plain because that's actually a swamp species even though they look um, pretty similar. So that's Quercus hemispherica.